Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So, as you guys know, um, I hauled in these shipping containers in one of my previous videos. The one I got out there, as you guys seen, and then this one I just said I was going to leave it on my trailer and it's still on my trailer. So, I need to get it off of here because I got big things coming here next week and um, I need my trailer and possibly another trailer to go do what I'm gonna do. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you guys wanna see what's going on. And if you guys wanna meet me, come buy some merch or whatever, I'll have everything available. Um, but for more information, stay tuned to the channel and I'll keep you guys updated. But before we get into today's video, I need to read a Bible verse over you guys. And today it's gonna be coming out of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses seven and eight. And it says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence, whose confidence indeed is the Lord. He will be like a tree planted by water. It sends its roots out toward a stream. It doesn't fear when heat comes, and its foliage remains green. It will not worry in a year of drought or seas producing fruit. So there's today's Bible verse for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep cranking them out. So I need to get this shipping container off my trailer um, just so I can start doing what I need to do. And what my plan is, I think, is to move these three tractors here. Um, and then I'm just going to dump the container right there for now. And then I'm going to get a load of stone in, yank all them trees out, and just put it right there for now. Um, try to get it sold, and then if it don't sell, then I guess I'll just store crap in it right there, like my skid steers and whatnot and stuff that, uh, yeah, I'm one out of the weather um and yeah like that but um there might be a different truck hooked up to my trailer as you guys can see um this truck has been in the background of tons of my videos and i have read some comments of people asking what is that white truck in the background of the videos this is a 2004 ford f350 with the 60 motor in it um, this is my first truck I bought it when I was 15 years old so I've had it a couple years um, bought it for $5,500 with a blown motor so another $13,000 later I've uh, got a new motor in it um, the motor was trashed so everything's new except the block reuse the block but that was it um, so this truck means a lot to me and it has been parked in the weeds for a year now just because um, come to find out the IPR sensor was bad and I just went ahead and replaced the oil cooler since I was in there since it has 40,000 miles on the motor um, oil coolers are known to fail so since I was in there went ahead and replaced that so truck should be raring to go now um, as far as I know uh, it should be raring to go um, so hopefully you guys will be seeing this in more videos coming up on the channel. I do still have my other truck. I'm not getting rid of my other truck. Um, this is just going to be my around here tone rig and that's going to be my beat uh, going farther trips and just my more comfier rig because this, this old girl's wild. Sounds like a jet. Um, but yeah, that's what this truck is. I hope to be doing putting a flatbed on it. And doing a few other things to it so I should be making some more videos on it as you guys can tell the bed is gone it's just flat out gone I cut the middle of it out to put the gooseneck ball in a few years ago and it's it's gone it needs love um, it wasn't as rusty as it is now until I parked it and parking it was probably the worst thing that could ever happen to it and then the baseball sized tail kind of really beat it up as well um, but I can't do anything about that uh, so yeah broke that piece I got it coming it then in the hood and the roof I plan on putting a scooped hood on it just like my 6.7 has on it and then um, my flatbed and probably a cattle pusher guard on the front but that's about as far more as I want to go with that truck I do would love to put a six-speed manual transmission into it but I'm trying to wait for that one to grenade first um, but yeah, this truck I'll have probably 50 grand in by the time I'm done with it. So it probably won't ever leave unless someone brings me some stupid amount of money. 
but it's not worth no stupid amount of money. So that's what's up on the white truck there. Um, hopefully you guys want to see more videos on it. No, you guys aren't into the truck stuff. Um, you're into more of the tractor stuff, but might as well show you guys it. Um, and then, sorry about the loud noise in the background. The neighbor's getting a new well. Can't help that loud noise. Um, and then the wind is kind of bad today because it just keeps raining off and on. Um, so sorry about the wind noise if it's bad too. But yeah, I guess I better get started now on um, getting to work, getting these tractors moved. The 190 is the only one that runs, so I'm going to have to move the others with the skid steer. And then back here, I'm going to need to move these lawnmowers and junk um, out of the way so I can pull the container off and have my trailer empty again and go from there. So guess what I need to do now is just set you guys on the tripod um, and get to work. So I got the tractors moved and the container off of my trailer and I mean it ain't looking too bad but once I get them trees out and push it over it'll look a lot better. Took the Kubota out yonder and um, get it out of the way. I did list it on Facebook see if people wanted it complete for $5,800. I've had tons of messages on it but no one came to pick it up yet so um yeah, if it don't sell, then I'll part it out here very soon. Just got some other stuff before it. Um, and the 7020 here, I just pushed it back in the same spot it was in. Um, but still need to get the pump sent off. And then this thing should be ready to go, hopefully, after a little bit of love. And uh, then I can throw that thing on auction time and go from there. But yeah, the trailer's empty now. Um, what my plan is to do now is to go out there and you guys know that the 7030 with the year-round cab that I bought off auction time I'm gonna load it up and uh, take it over to the barn put it inside for now bring my other open station one home yank the duels off of it and whatnot and then because I'm gonna sell the duels off of it because I don't need them um, then I'm gonna take it back over to the barn for now and it'll be for sale here very soon hopefully and go from there but looks like it is about to just dump rain on us so i'm gonna call it quits for now and once this rain passes if it does then i will um, set you guys on the tripod get that 70 30 loaded and head for the barn so it might be today or this evening or it might be tomorrow i guess um, i'll just pick you guys up whenever it is sunny and not gonna rain go as you guys just seen got 70 30 loaded up and ready to hit the road not going too far so i ain't worried about chaining it down too bad but looking pretty good find the old 6-0 here so sounds like a jet like you guys just heard things uh things a screamer that's for sure but i ain't got too far to go so i guess i'm gonna hit the road and hopefully my travels go safe and sound as this is the first time that this this truck has pulled a load in a year and a half probably so see how good it does and hope for the best so i guess i'll pick you guys up at the barn good news is i made it over here bad news is i gotta move stupid 200 to get to 70 30 out of here but 
70 30s right there for his like kitten this 200 should fire up just fine you guys have seen it in the videos a lot uh, bought it this year it's found out it was a one owner tractor before i bought it so that's why it's still here it's a good little thing um but this thing ain't ran in a long time now probably since winter so i need to see if it'll fire up even check the oil and stuff see if it'll fire up and if it will then uh move 200 out of the way get it out of here hopefully i got enough room through here and then uh bring the other 70 30 in here and put it in its spot so i guess i'll see what happens and you'll either see it on the trailer or it'll rot right here so <laughs> um it should fire up just fine i've never had any issues with it so i guess we'll see what happens i mean i guess i can just film it for you guys see if it starts or not it's got oil and it. it's good it's got oil in it why am i here uh, see she's dusty she ain't been raining a minute all right well, that don't feel good this don't look good oh whoa this is a surprise Gotta love you, old 426 Alice. They just fire right up for like kittens. Unless it's winter time out, then you put a can of ether in them. Gotta get the earls flowing. She ain't been raining a while. Don't hit the wall. Yeah, she's been sitting a long time. Heck, it might need some oil, the hydraulic oil. Maybe I leaked it all out. Who knows? It looks like there is a leak right there. Huh. I don't know. Running pretty good, I tell you. Look at that view. View. Heck, I might have to keep them all. There ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of hoarding. Come on up in this one, bad girl. This one's a one owner machine, too. Crazy. I just find all one owner machines. They ain't one owner now because I'm an owner, but. If I was selling them, I could say they're one owner, but if I start using them, then they're two owner. Oh well. Heck, I might just keep them duels. No, I don't need them. Can't keep everything, Braden. Come on now. All right, I'm gonna get everything uh, put back in the barn and that up to my trailer and load it up, and then I'll pick you guys back up. Made it back home yesterday with the 7030 and the truck truck did pretty good um still not a hundred percent lacking some power for some reason um i might just need to buy a set of tunes for it because i have not done that yet since i we rebuilt the motor on it so probably just needs a new set of tunes and there is an exhaust leak i need to find and fix that but made it back home and um yeah, 70 30s here, safe and sound. So, my plan is with this tractor here, um, take the duels off and they're gonna be loaded on this trailer here and taken somewhere. But you guys will know more about that in upcoming videos. And then, um, I'm debating whether I want to sell this one or not or keep both 70 30s. Um, haven't decided yet because I really like this tractor. And I know everything about it because I've put a lot of hours on it. So, um, yeah, I haven't decided if I want to sell it or not. But if I do sell it, I'm going to yank the weights off, put it on the other 70-30 that I just hauled home. Or just hauled to the barn over there, too. And uh, take a couple other things off that I want and go from there. But, 
yeah my plan is to also probably buy a another gooseneck to pull with this truck really need a flatbed for it too but um plan is to buy another gooseneck a lot smaller than this one probably a 25 plus 5 or a, um 20 plus 5 just something smaller because i really don't need two ginormous trailers i'd love another small trailer um just because i go to a lot of places where i either can't fit this trailer in or i only pick up one tractor that i could fit on a smaller trailer so um instead of dragging this big heavy thing around might as well purchase something else a little more uh smoother of a ride and easier to pull um so i don't spend as much money on fuel so that's not in the near plans but in the future plans that's my hope um but yeah that is that i should be doing a trailer review on this trailer here very soon so make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in seeing that and uh, i guess what i need to do now is get this 70 30 off my trailer and then get to work on yanking them duels off there Like that the duels are off of my 70 30 here don't look as good with them not on there but uh i don't need them anymore so why hang on to them let them dry rot and be worth nothing so i'll be loading these two up on my gooseneck here and they will be headed westbound next week um so if you're interested and need a set of duels um, they are originally off of a 4430, 4440, 18438 Goodyears. Um, they'll come with the five uh, hooks and clamps and whatever. Um, good tread. They just got some bean stubble damage. Um, Going to be asking probably 15 to 1800 for them. Um, so if you're interested in them, make sure to stay tuned to the channel as I'm going to be uh, releasing here sometime this week next week of where i'm going to be headed to and where you guys can um, meet me at ask me all the questions you want to and just have a good time so make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you are interested in seeing what's about to go down and uh because i'm glad well I'm, I'm excited to get to meet some of you guys and just have a good time hopefully sell some parts and make some money and meet some good friends so um yeah that's that 70 30 is ready for me to decide whether i'm gonna keep it or not or if it's gonna be for sale and uh yeah i also it's been a busy day here i've been looking at tractors i've been just running a lot of errands today so it's evening now that's why i was gonna work on it earlier but i had too much other stuff to do but i did stop by the tire shop and get a brand new set of michelin tires um these bad boys ain't cheap i should have bought them a year ago when i needed them but what am i gonna do should buy one they're cheaper but uh yeah they're super duper expensive but i needed tires since my white truck's running again I had to put them tires back on there um so i had to put my socks back on and needed tires for them so i had to pay the hefty price but these michelins should last a good while and treat me pretty good so that's what i was up to this morning I met a guy from uh, went to a coffee shop with a guy from the church this morning got these tires and just been driving around a lot today looking at stuff so there will be some more tractors um shown on the channel here in a couple weeks or so as i'm buying some stuff up lately um so be introducing some more tractors to you guys on the channel here so stay tuned for that as well and i guess this is going to be a wrap for today's video um yeah make sure like i said make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you want to know what's going on next week and where you guys can see me out and meet me so I guess, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. 
and I guess I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.